Well, my break-in is finally over. 500 excruciating slow miles of restrained city driving, and the car is now ready to have its oil changed and have everything inspected. Now, this will be a follow-up video to the Royal Purple. We're gonna be pulling the valve cover off to see how well the cams look, which was the only dirty part of the engine. Everything else had been cleaned thoroughly. Uh, when I put the engine back in the car. So we're gonna be changing the oil and then pulling off the valve cover. Now I've got some other things going on. Um, I, I didn't do that 500 miles without any trouble. Unfortunately, as you can see here, the tow hook, the actual tow hook is on the car. Uh, my fuel pump went out about 250 miles into my break-in, so I had to get towed back home at one point and my oil pan is leaking. So I'm gonna have to pull that back off and redo that. I'm not gonna be showing that because it's not super exciting or anything like that. So I have to redo my oil pan. But today I definitely wanna get the oil pulled out, inspect it. I did notice that it got dark relatively quickly and then it, it didn't get any darker. So we're gonna look over the oil and then look inside of the valve cover. So this is oil off the dipstick. You can see that we lost a lot of our purple color. Uh, it went this dark about 200 miles into the braking period and then it hasn't changed color since then. So I know what everybody's thinking. At first glance, it doesn't look like there is a ton of progress, but you gotta remember this was only 500 miles. And if you look a lot closer, you can see that there are pieces that are a lot cleaner. Um, I'm not sure why the intake cam didn't clean up as well as the exhaust cam, uh, but you can definitely tell the exhaust cam is cleaner than it used to be. I'm gonna throw up some video when I recorded it before I had done this test. There is a bit of a difference. There is some progress being made here. The most impressive thing about this is it softened everything up. Just wiping it off, it almost wipes completely clean. And I can guarantee you that it didn't do that before. It would have ripped your paper towel apart and it would have looked any different. But you can see how easy this actually just rubs off. So in my eyes, this does work and I'm even surprised that it did this much in 500 miles. So at this point, I'm gonna put the valve cover back together. Uh, I hate doing these. So I was a little bit mad at myself that I actually had promised to take this back off because now I've got to put it back on. And like I said, I, I really don't like doing them. They're kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, I'm also gonna drain the oil. I'm gonna be turning the camera back on when we do that, just to inspect what the oil looks like after 500 miles. And I, I'm pretty sure that the only reason it's dark is because the top of this was dirty. There's no other reason the oil should be uh, dirty unless something's wearing funny. And even then I don't think it would go brown or uh, start to go dark like normal oil does when it starts to get dirty. So I will see you guys in just a couple minutes when all the oil is out of the car. So here's the oil after I drained it. You can see here on the edge of the bucket that it did lose a lot of its purple color. You can see a tint of purple in there just a little bit, but it's gotten pretty dirty. With all that being said, I still recommend Royal Purple and I'm gonna to continue to use it on my car. So one more thing before the valve cover gets put back on, I wanna look at the top of the valve cover. Now you can see here, this is what it looked like before. This side doesn't clean out as well because of that cover that sits over the intake cam. But this side over here, I think it's oil sprayed directly on it and you can see how much cleaner that is. When I put this on, everything looked like this. And this over here makes it look like every piece had been cleaned out individually. 